hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to create a database in odoo so currently in my screen you can see i am accessing odoo version 12 and i am in the page database manager so most of the people know how to create a database but still there is a few people or there are some freshers who is new to odoo and they might be think how to create a database in odoo after installation of the Uru. So we already have shown you how to install Uru in one of our video and so we are thinking about how to create a database manage our thinking about making a video on how to create database. So actually we have, today we have taken laptop to create the OR methods common OR methods in Uru. but when I logged into my existing database there were some few errors here and there so I just dropped the database and start from the scratch. So I think let's make a video on same showing how to create a database in Odoo. So for creating a database you will be in this page that is web slash database manager. So from here you can see you have got the fields to enter database name, email, password, phone number, language. From here you can see you can choose the language in which the system you need. Here you can specify your country, demo data and create database. So before creating a database right now here you can see our system is not protected right now so i have already shown first of all we have to set the master password for the instance else if we haven't set the master password this url can be accessed by anyone suppose if you have installed odoo in a server so it will be public so once you have this link you can just come to this link and create the database or he can just delete our database so i will come to it later so right now i will create a database and later part of this video i will show you the importance of the master password so i'll give the name as oru db and i have to give my email so instead of email i'm just giving the admin so there is no mandatory to give the email itself so if you need to give email you can give admin at gmail.com or something like that you can give your email so i'll just continue with admin and i have given the password as admin itself so if you need to see the password you can just click on this little eye icon so that you can see the password after you have entered it so I have entered the email, email is given as admin, password is entered and the, it is not mandatory to enter the phone number. So purpose of entering phone number is just for pure, pure marketing purpose. So it will be sent to the Uru and they will be, they might be contacting you for their marketing of Uru Enterprise. So if you need, you can just enter your number. So that's it for the phone number field and in the language you can see by default it's English. So the importance of this language is system will be shown in this language suppose if you need to get the ui in some language like arabic or chinese or any other language you can choose it from this list like this so i'll just continue with the english language itself and you can just specify your country so i'll choose india so the importance of choosing country will be the installation of localized module will be based on the choose selected country like for if we go to the accounting we will have different accounting the terms and things in each countries so and in Oru we have got different localization modules suppose for India we have got Indian localization module and it will only be same as in Arab countries or European countries so you can just specify your country here so that the localization packages will be installed based on the selected country and for the demo data suppose if you are creating the database for the demo purpose and if you need to see all the demo data suppose if you are going to illustrate Odoo demonstration to your client definitely you need some database for definitely you need some data into the database so you can just click on demo data so by that demo data will be loaded into the system so if you are going for a production system it is not good to tick the demo data because you will have a lot of dummy data there so right now as the for the illustration purpose I'll just click on demo data so we have entered everything Odoo DB the name has given email is entered a password is given so later we will use this email and password to log in the system phone number i will keep it as empty language is selected as english country is selected as india the importance of the country is the localization package will be based on the selected country and demo data is ticked and i will just click on create database so you can see the loading has been started so it will take one to two minutes for the purpose so right now it depends on the performance of the computer actually if you have a good performance computer it will create it very fast so let's wait until the database creation has been completed so now if we go to the pycharm so i'm running my ori using this pycharm and here you can see in the log section lowering base module 
so you can see the base module is the kernel of Odoo and it will install in the database once we creating it so you can see base data so as we have ticked demo data you can see rest company demo.xml is loading like the rest currency or rest partner like all the demo files will be loaded into the system as we have ticked that demo field so you can see web editor is installing so if i go here i think the almost the creation of the database is completed so let's wait until the final thing is done so now if i go to the browser you can see we have logged into the system so right now we have successfully created the database and we are redirected to the apps page so here you can see the all the available apps so right now i have given custom add-ons path here that's why you are seeing some custom modules like auditor accounting and our audit 12 development tutorials so from here you can install the necessary modules into the system so right now i'm not going to install the modules so i'll just log out the database so i'll click on log out button and if i go to the manage database so here you can see web database manager so earlier before starting the creation of the video i have talked about the master password so here you can see one your Odoo database manager is not protected please set a master password to secure it so if you have set the master password to your instance and if you have hosted the Odoo in a public server so it can be accessed by anyone who having or who know the url so once they log into the system they will see like that and if they feels like just click on the delete button and if you click again this delete your database will be dropped so if if you are going with the production database don't forget to set the master password because it's not safe because anyone can take the backup of the database and read the data or they can create duplicate or even they can delete all the destroy all the existing data in the system so make sure that master password is set so either you can set the master password from here by clicking on it so if i click on here it will ask me for to set the master password so i'll set the master password as 123 admin 123 admin so if i click on here you can see that warning has been gone 123 admin will be my master password and if i try to create a new database you can see a new field is getting displayed that is master password so if i enter the master password correctly only i can just create a database so if you feel now that where will this master password will get saved so if i take my pycharm and here you can see this is my odoo log file and here you can see this is the master password that i have entered there that is i have entered one two three admin but here you will see an ssj encrypted password so this will be the encrypted password so later if i forget the master password and if you feel you have to get that you can just change it from here so if i comment it out either you can just comment it out from here that is i'll just put a semicolon in front and if i just restart the service and if i reload the screen it will have the same effect as the master password is not set so once we have added a column here it's showing it's not master password set so you can just do it like that and here you can see from here you can just reset the master password or you can just remove this comma and from here you can just set another master password like zxc admin like that you can set so that's all about the master password so once we the database is created you can just log into the database and you can install the necessary modules into the system so that's all about how to create database in Odoo so if you have any queries or any suggestions or feedbacks don't hesitate to comment it out or reach us over the email that is odoomates at gmail.com and you can connect us over the social medias like LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook etc so we have successfully created a database and I'll just click on here and we have to enter the email in entries email is admin and I'll enter the password that is also admin so once we logged into the system will be redirected to the apps page as we haven't installed any modules yet so let's click on the CRM so to install the modules you can just click on install button so it will take few times to load the module and if you feel that you have to install multiple modules at a time in the system you can see here you have got tree view you can just switch to the tree view and from the tree view you can select multiple modules so uh, once the CRM is installed, I'll show that how to install multiple modules in a database. So definitely once you create a database, there might be different modules you have to install like sales module, accounting, purchase, inventory, MRP like that. There might be a lot of modules that you have to install. So it's not good for waiting one by one 
to finish and install so you can install all the necessary modules at a one a single shot so let's see how we can do that so here you can see CR module is loading so if I go to the PyCharm and if I check the log here you can see CRM views is loading, report is loading, data is loading. So let's wait until the database module has been installed. So as you can see, the CRM has been successfully installed in the database. So it's the final loading. So that's done. Now you can see we have got calendar contact CRM apps. So the CRM has been installed. Now I will just show you how to install multiple modules in the database and we will wind up this video. So right now let's feel that we have to install multiple modules. So this comes here to the apps menu and click on the tree view. So once I switch the tree view, I can select multiple modules from here. Like this, I'll choose web website, auditable accounting and project and click on action button. And from the action button, you can click on install modules. So once you click on that, all the selected modules will be installed into the database. So that's all about this video. Hope you like the video and share the videos to your friends. And if you like the video, please do click the like button and subscribe the channel to get notified regarding all the updates. Thank you.